Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Pixel hey Junkies uh, podcast. Yeah, it's um, totally a podcast. Yep. Uh, welcome back to uh, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on the PC yep. Enhanced Edition. I'm one your host, Adam. Yeah. And I'm the other one, Aaron. Yeah. Trying and, to... Oh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus, that was loud. And uh, this week we're going for, again, the face-off achievement. Yep. achievement. We're trying to get all the Dragon Priest masks. We're down to two left. Two we're left, We're going yep. for the last one before we have to go for the main one, because we were partway through the main one uh, when the game borked. And we kind of have to do part of that quest again, so... Yeah, we still haven't gotten around to doing that. Oh, I have the key. Okay. You're just picking the lock with the key. Master. Bruce. Yes, my apprentice. No, I wasn't. I wasn't doing a bit there. Oh, I was just, sorry. I was just Franklin, uh, uh, saying that how ma how how great so he is at picking locks by force. using the key. Also, look at the balls on this guy. Using a ranged weapon from two feet away. Yeah, you're just wailing. Into him, and he's still the, the he's committed to the bow. All right, bye. I guess <laughs> we're gonna get out of here. It's Franklin. Norse god, you were or whatever. I was gonna say this makes the combat of of, uh, of uh, monster Jesus Christ. Right, glad I moved out of the way of that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's where the stone is. His body's getting fucked. I'm glad oh, yeah, he moved I out of the way for that. I don't trigger these. I wonder if his body yeah. triggers it. Nope. Right, well. You're like that was like a wily e. coyote moment where he's like jumping on his own trap, seeing why it doesn't it, it didn't activate, and then the cannon shoots him in the face. He get all that soot all over himself. Mm. Dead crazy asshole. Are you guys, uh, you guys dead? There's a really interesting uh, documentary I watched about the the Wiley e. Coyote shorts, and uh, they were uh, they were talking about like the you know like the how they were created, and apparently when um, Chuck Jones and the other writers were uh, um, coming up with the with those shorts, that he came up with three rules that you know a series of rules that he was never allowed to break when when making that series. Um, and three w rules were, or one of the rules was, the coyote, the coyote can never catch the road runner. That was the first rule. The second rule is the coyote's um, uh, plans always fail due, or the coyote can only fail in his plans due to his own ineptitude, the uh, inaccuracies, or the 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 failure of the acne products, and the road runner going meet meet. That's the only way that the coyote can ever fail is one of those three ways. And I think it's 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 really important as a writer to like Jesus Christ. There's a lot of death wars. Uh, it's really important as a writer to give yourself like limits and rules that you can't break. Yeah. But I mean, at the same time, it's like you sit down at that first writers' meeting and you're like, well, what was, what's that like two episodes? <laughs> But at the same time, they've managed to put, pump out God knows how many episodes. Well, I mean, it's not it's not even episodes. They were like shit. six minute, you know, they were like three to six minute long shorts. Yeah, but then they would just string them together into episodes. Yeah, but they would it wouldn't just be all Roadrunner shorts. It'd be like Bugs Bunny shorts and. Oh yeah, fair enough. Oh, yeah, I guess. Daffy Duck shorts. It's the same crap though. That's a big ass soul gym. Uh, anyway, so where are we going here? So is this dude down in this thing? I can't remember. This is under Stop Raven that. Rock, by the way. This whole mine. Oh, uh, yeah. So he's taking the traps again. God damn it! We're gonna encase him or something. Yeah, I guess we could have done that. It's like an action hero who like who disables the automatic sentry guns and just takes the ammo out of them. He's like, sure, <laughs> he's he's taking. We've given him better guns. What was that guy doing a gesture at you? He's like, come up here and fight me! Like, time is this fucking Hulk Hogan again. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm almost dead. I just like the idea of Franklin leaving a trail of big pilfers of health potions around. He's <laughs> like littering in all these dungeons. He went that way. How can you tell? Because there's health potions everywhere. A big pile of bottles. Why there's so many fucking high level buddies here? Man, there better be something really interesting at the end of this dungeon. Like, why is there a mine with like a thousand fucking ancient Norse warriors or whatever? Just fucking Jesus. <laughs> it's 
Especially all these ranged fighters. There you go, take that. Sir, we're gonna be creating- we're gonna be putting you guys mainly underground to guard this underground tomb. It's gonna be fairly close quarters. Do you want the sword, the great axe, or the bow? Fuck me. <clears throat> we'll take the bow. Really? Alright. You go through this. Oh. That's a cool thing. Yeah, you're gonna have about six feet of room to shoot at him. Yeah, the ball. Alright. Have you ever used a ball? Oh, uh, no, what is it? <laughs> we didn't have those back when I was a warrior or whatever. Oh, is it just more shit to mine? Is that it? This stupid thing. All these ancient warriors guarding that stupid fucking jizz rock. So there's another one further up the thing. God damn it! <sighs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just have to stagger our defense. You know, they could probably end up actually posing a pretty decent chance of beating you. If, uh... If, oh, I bet the switch is over here, isn't it? If, uh, they all... If instead of oh, okay. scattering themselves throughout the dungeon, they just all ganged up on you at the end. Yeah. I mean, that happened a couple episodes back. Well, mm. not a couple, but like 20,000. Remember when Thomas was on and there was that fucking... Oh, yeah. Death train of shit flying <laughs> after it? Yeah, I remember that. Ice spike. Oh, man, good thing we don't have that spell. Yeah, Todd giving us spells we already got again. Shut up. We're gonna have to credit Todd Howard with, with the series, by the way. Yeah. Oh, that was a tomb, not a switch. Stop that! Stop being a spicy soul, Jim. Did I come this way? I saw a meme the other day that was, who would win, um... Six million soldiers of the British Empire, or some really spicy win. It was just pictures of mustard gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Jeez>. god, <laughs> that's a new looking cave. Oh, that's ah, oh, I remember this. Okay, so let's see what's in this door first. That this is the. Do you need a specific sword for this? Uh, I can't remember. Hopefully, it's in that chest. Probably not. God fucking damn this stupid ass come eating lock. <laughs> Guide me, Rory. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Reach out with your feelings. Oh man, I feel it. It's a piece of grass. <laughs> That's that, the force. That Ray saw him take up there and didn't question him why he was holding a piece of grass. That's fucking. Good call auto saving up there, by the way. Yeah. Oh, it's probably this. Probably this guy probably has the sword. Yeah, there it is. Blood oh, blood. that's the one that does if does the cool wind up thing. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do the the appropriate slashing. That's a cool sword. I like this sword. Uh, blood skull blade. I mean, it does, how much damage does it do compared to your? Well, it's not smiths, so. Uh, the sword I was using. Uh. Probably that one. It's 106 damage. This does 36. Do you wanna? Did you wanna smith that one so it does 106 damage? Cause I like I like the the. I don't know how you determine what what attack you do. There we go. Do the do the thing. You gotta have full. You gotta have more stamina. Or, do I? I guess not. I don't know. Or do you gotta do it in order? Maybe. Or f we'll stand back first off. Oh, and it's, it's... It's not... It's not tossing the thing when I do it sideways. I would appreciate your come <coughs> situation, kind of Raven Rock. Okay, minus it's on the Reese Journal. Uh, I received a letter from me saying... Crisis Mark, Roy all over again. Had the Raven Rock mine. Looks like miners broke right through the Nordic barrier. Looks like the barrels called the blood... Uh, whatever. The Blood Squall Blade. Uh, remove it. You gotta sleep on it. Decided against my own better judgment to remove the blade. Uh, should have listened to Mills. The moment the blade was lifted, we were set upon by Draugr. Mills fought bravely, but I fell. Oh, oh, that guy was, I was like, how did you, how did you write this? Uh, <laughs> Just the sounds of, like, he, he's, he's writing in the sounds of battle in the background. <laughs> Clang and asterisks. Uh, yeah, okay, so I got that. There appears to be something missing. Has They've confounded my attempts at getting through. 
barely keep away. I'm fairly certain that the key to the door involves the blood. Yeah, I know that. I think by swinging the sword in different directions, it's possible to manipulate the ribbons and solve what puzzle, whatever. Yeah, I, you know, that's, you didn't really add anything to that. So, see, it doesn't do it when I do it sideways, and I also can't control when I do it sideways. It just does it. It's a heavy attack you gotta use, right? Is it? Yeah, it has to be a heavy attack. So then I gotta, like, just turn sideways. But I can't control when he does a heavy attack sideways. I guess we just gotta... I don't know. Just gotta do a command unlock door. <clears throat> Todd Howard's getting a bit cute with his... Oh, okay, that worked. How in the cum eating fart are you supposed to do that? Do it sideways, Franklin, you friggin' moron. Meow. There you go. Do it sideways. Oh. Mm. There you go. Sir, Franklin seems to be having a lot of trouble with this puzzle. Why don't, why don't, why don't all the puzzles... Why don't we do all the puzzles like this? Because it's not fair! We gotta use... Plus, we made all them damn claws. What do you want from us? There you go. It looks like eyeballs or whatever. <laughs> we got it. That's a lot of axes. A quick save again. Probably just run through them. Yeah. 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 Yeah, this uh, yeah. timing is not... Am. Uh, whatever. Uh, Am. Not getting me. Just a minor inconvenience as you're running through. <laughs> Here from the way in the background. The penitent man will. <laughs> oh, Jesus. He's just ran right through. <laughs> Apparently, it's fucking cut to pieces. Don't worry. He has, he has 33 ultimate healing potions. He's it's got fun. a turbo massive uh, bag on his back. Turbo jiggling from the glass sound. <laughs> Uh, are, are you the are you the man? Oh, it is the man. The man himself. Of course. Here we Who go. Who names these kids this? It's like all these right. Kids. So uh, we have we had three kids. Uh, what are the names? Well, first there's Billy, and then there's Sally, and then there's Zephyr. Oh, I should have took that walk on water. Poses. What is Zephyr Chris doing? Well, he's uh, you know, he he's actually apprenticing to be a dread priest. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we were hoping he was going to be an orthodontist like his brother, but nope, dread priest. I feel like he kind of kind of. Sidelined him into that with the name. And Dragon Priest. I was a Dread Priest. I don't know, I just. There we go, got options. it. Cat again. Cat! Uh, oh. Alright, we get this thing. Hi, Rod! It was a shorter quest than I thought. Mm. We still got five whole minutes. Uh oh. Left, left in this episode. Uh, well, uh... Only five minutes left to live. Yeah. So now the last one that we gotta do is the main quest, buddy man. Oh, Christ! And I'm not entirely sure what the main quest entails. This is another black book. Oh, man. Add some filler to this game book, please. Or this video. Uh... So I'll have to look up... I'll have to look up what the main quests are, but... I'm pretty sure... I've read sure. enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> I mean, that's a weird water. Um, Hadrian is more. Oh, okay. Earlier, well, you're dead. Oh yeah, it, that that kills you. Um, Hadrian's more. <laughs> should we consider uh, not having all of our uh, having our entire library um, near near water? Because water's not really good for books. What? I mean, yeah. Well, for how long has this been the case? <laughs> has your voice changed? And also, pretty much since forever, paper's not really reactive well for water. Well, get down to the stacks quick and find out that the books are ruined. Yeah, okay, so we just came back, and it seems like all the books are ruined. All I mean, you literally had towers of books that are reaching out of the water. I mean, that <laughs> that kind of destroyed them. Oh, my God! So nothing is available? I mean, I well, we were able to save the complete works of Stephen King. Oh, that's not cool. But I mean... <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. It's worse than useless. Well, the idea that, uh... Hermius sees Franklin come to this realm and then immediately turns around and swims off into his green goop stuff. <laughs> God damn, what are those Oh, Dragonborn. I see you have come to perhaps 
Take Stop the that. My nose. You just you hear a splash. He's like, no, wait, come back. Don't go in there. Are you being attacked? Probably. Oh, okay, hold that. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll take those. soul gems. What's this? Oh, uh, magic, maybe? Yep. Take none of these. Wait, 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 wait. At least this location looks interesting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, goddamn thing. You don't look like Harry Potter to me. I like the idea that these guys are like, alright, is there something that we can, uh... Is there something that we can help you with? Uh, anything in the periodicals you want to find? You just come at it with a broadsword. It's like, oh, there's a library! Put that away! <laughs> Mirak said you're only allowed to use magic in here. He's cheating. <laughs> oh my god, fire! Why? Stand on this stuff so I don't hurt my feet. Also, I have, like, boots on, so I'm not sure how that hurts me anyway, but... A Lurker Vindicator. Just ah. like the Vindicator class Star Destroyer yep. from Star Wars. There's Hawks or whatever. No, 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 that was from Clone Wars. Ah, right. You know what's, what seems odd to me? Is in one of the one of the character one of the minor characters in Star Wars: The Clone Wars was Admiral Yularen, and he was kind of like the, the the leader of the Anakin's fleet hmm. for for most of the show. And he's eventually becomes uh, Colonel Yularen of the ISB or the in uh, Imperial Security Bureau, basically like the secret police. And it's like, why are you? Why did an admiral of the military suddenly become an agent for the secret police? That doesn't make a lick of sense. You get a better job offer, man. I guess. All stairs. That's cool. But I mean, originally, that's what he was. Was he was a member of the in uh, Imperial Security Bureau? That because he appeared. He was in Episode Four. Uh, he was one of the guys um, in um, in the um, in the like the conference room in the Death Star, if you remember correctly. Um, and it's uh, was that the guy who got force choked? No, no, no. no. Oh. He was that was Admiral. I forget what his name is. Admiral Shitty Haircut. Yeah. Uh, so reading skill books give you an extra skill point. Yeah. Your attacks, shouts, and destruction spells do no damage to your followers. I d don't really care about that. Do 10% more damage and get 10% better prices from people of the opposite sex. That seems like a sexist thing. What was that first one? I don't know. Let's go with this, I guess. Seems to be a lot of female Draugr, so... That might be useful. I guess we can get out of here now. I'm probably in, too. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Getting close to that time. It's about to go off. Let's see if I can beat it before it goes off. No, it's gonna tell me to unlock my phone. Wait, oh man, I got it with one second left. Perfect. I'm pretty good. <clears throat> what, the, pl the mangoes? No, your timing. I was gonna say the plugos or something for some reason. <laughs> the plugos? Yeah, it's like plum mangoes. I don't know what I was thinking in my head. Dried plums would be a bit weird. Although maybe not. I don't know. Although I think that's why we ended up with prunes. There's a um. Prunes or plums, right? Yeah, I think so. So why can't you get like dried pr uh, plums? Or are they dates? Prunes might be dates. No, I think dates are are their own. Thing. Maybe um, not. Prunes are um. Well, you, you you can get you can get mango slices mm. and dried peaches. Yep. So wh where's plums at? Did they just not dry well or something? I don't know. You can get dried apples. You can get dried bananas. Yeah. Maybe you can, or just ignorant. <laughs> ignorant. Yeah. Where um, the hell are you bitches coming from? I killed you all when I came down here. Oh, all right, she's <laughs> super dead. <laughs> Smacked her. In. That, was, that was less defending yourself in combat, more case of domestic abuse. Maybe that was that. That's that ten percent damage coming into play already. Bitch, you get on the floor. <laughs> you can smack bitches ten percent more oh, efficiently. God. There's a, some of those black books give you pretty cool uh, upgrades though, because I got an upgrade once yeah, that like every time I bitches. use my uh, fire breath shout. Little spectral dragons appeared and attacked my foes for a couple of seconds. That's cool. 
So can, was... can your familiar be a dragon in this? Uh, I don't know. That'd be cool. There was also a spell book that allowed me to summon a Daedra um, once per day, and he was a Daedra like merchant, and I could and oh. I could sell stuff to him, anything to him, because he'll even accept like contraband, and then I can also buy stuff from him. That's like like Daedric armor and, and stuff. It was pretty. It was a pretty cool uh, effect. That's neat. Do you get? Do you ever get Sanguine's Rose? Or um, rose? I did. Because that's that's uh, that summons a uh, a bloody man as well. What the hell's going on in the water? Uh, it's just a real turbo right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You think Hermes Moore is doing something with the water over there? I mean, this is modded water, I, I believe, because we had to reinstall all the mods. And I guess this section... I mean, I don't think it looks dumb because of the mod. I think it was dumb before. It just looks maybe more obvious now that there's mm. more detail. It's stormy in this one section of the ocean. I keep hearing... Who the fuck is still alive? Also, that grass is... Jeez, look at this grass. Alright, turbo grass. Can you imagine the balls on this guy? He kill you see him he sees you kill or her she she sees you kill all of her compatriots and then jump <laughs> about thirty feet down to the ground, land with a minor oomph, and then come over, take three hours to the chest, and just This is since we've gotten that skill, we've just smacked two bitches to the ground. Yep. You know, take it let the tide take her away. Oh, I lost Grivor. Eh. <laughs> you broke her spine there. Just all it seems that all the bones were broken post mortem. <laughs> just kind of come across this crumbled up mash of bits. <laughs> it's like you can't even tell what shape it's supposed to be. That's anymore. actually how you know when people are lost at sea and they wash up on on the beach. Not that that uh, you know happens all the time, but. Um, oh my that's geez. usually how they're found, is their a lot of their bones are broken on it's the inside. Your head is where your stomach is supposed to well, be. Well, not quite that much, but... You got like a foot sticking off the <laughs> side of your stomach. Well, I saw just turbo rearranged on the inside. Well, no, it's more just all the bones are pulverized. Oh. Well, I guess we can finish this quest and then we'll end. Yeah. Because we gotta return to... Well, what enemies? Oh, there's a friggin... Fucking jizz fired up there. <laughs> Is that is that just ejaculation? Uh, if you do it into someone's anus. <laughs> some turbo currents, man. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go in there. This is probably a bit of an undertow. Also, there's green shit in the water. I think it's a reflection now. Who knows what? Oh, okay, you can just go underneath this, I guess. <laughs> what the hell's going on? <laughs> That's so dumb. Okay, let's try let's try fast traveling again. There we go, now it works. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, actually, it's like, did you ever see the video of the diver going in and was cave diving, and he cave dived in a pool into a cave that was half salt water, half fresh water, and it looked like he was like he went from the salt water into the fresh water, and it, it looked really weird. You ever see that gif? Uh, I don't. I'll, sh I'll show it to you afterwards. By the time you fucking woke up, you crusty old man. Crustiest, creasiest. You were right all along. I knew it. Gratian's death wasn't because I knew it. Now that I have his yep. Do it. Good luck. Good luck. It's not much. It's the best in all. Yeah, okay, thanks. Seven hundred and fifty gold. I'll come back and rob the rest of what you got later. Alright. Well that's uh that's all the masks but one. So we will uh, continue our adventures and find Mirax thing on the next time. We're getting pretty close to the end of this now, finally. After a million episodes. Hooray! Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah! See you next time. Goodbye!